Uh, Molly Huddle through that final, I think, uh, pretty, looked, looked pretty easy for you in the third. Talk about how you're feeling. Um, I think I needed that race as kind of a rust buster, even though I raced about two and a half weeks ago. It just didn't feel as easy as I would have liked, so I'm hoping um, the final feels more like my normal self. Just glad to get through. I'm glad it was um, kind of clear the last half of the race who was making it on rather than a scramble, so it was a good uneventful prelim. <laughs> we, you just mentioned you haven't talked to us a lot this year. I think has it been a little, as far as racing has gone, has you kind of taken a different uh, strategy this year? Um, not really. You know, I was really nervous the first half of the year because, as I said, I was injured in the winter for a good chunk of time, so I just didn't want to put any goals out there. I, had, I was kind of a question mark as to what I'd be able to do this season. Still kind of am. Um, I made it this far. I made it to the World Championship final, so that's good. Um, I have my usual goals of finishing in the top six or seven, and I just hope I can do it. I hope I can run fast after the Worlds, but... Um, I don't want to put too much out there just because it wasn't my usual build-up, but I'm happy so far. I'm making it work, so. So compared to a build-up that compared to the American record build-up, it is yeah. similarities? Ideally, I would have um, kind of eased into the beginning of the year, gone to altitude in the spring. I had kind of raced through the spring instead, so I was missing that little component. Um, and you just never know what cross-training does for you if you did enough or hard enough. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of seeing what kind of base I was able to do on cross-training right now. So, um, so far, so good. It could be a little stronger, but we'll see. <laughs> what, what's the injury problem? Is it sound like his back a little bit? No, no, I'm fine. Oh. I'm fine. I just... Um, you think by now January and February doesn't matter, but kind of that base keeps you racing when you're not working out. So... Going into the heat, it looks like you guys were, when I mean, you were running over 90 the first couple laps, you must have been content just to race to the top five. What was the, explain the strategy behind that. I wanted to give it a lap and see if anyone took the lead. I didn't really want to be leading the whole thing if I didn't have to. Um, but that got kind of um, messy going that slow, and I felt uncomfortable going that slow. Um, so we tried to draw it out within the first mile, and... Then it kind of picked up pretty quickly, and I, you know, my whole plan was to stay in fourth or fifth the whole way, and then just defend that spot with a kick. Um, it kind of just turned into keeping pace instead of kicking. So, um, you know, it was, it was good. I couldn't really ask for a better setup. I was nervous because my heat was a little bit um, harder than the second heat, maybe just looking at the depth of 15-10 type girls, but. Um, it was fine. You say you wanted to be in fourth or fifth, but you ended up third pr pretty comfortably. Are you surprised how easily how easily that came? Um, yes and no. It's a prelim, so you don't know who was sitting back. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, if I'm fifth, that's about to be expected. So I was a little surprised. You ran up, I think, around 444 for the last 1600. I forgot what your I had your last lap. Uh, I mean, how did that feel? What is it? I said, how, how did that? I mean, kind of with, I guess, going into the last lap. Started to pull pull away from Shannon. She kind of backed off. I mean, we were way ahead of fifth. Explain sort of the rationale behind the last lap. Yeah, I just you, you never know. Who's, I can't really tell who's behind me, um, and I kind of wanted to just use it as good practice for the next for the final. Um, I didn't really I didn't really have to kick that hard. I was saving some for if anyone came up. But when I turned around on 100 to go, I realized it was okay. Um, yeah, just trying to get a good. Do you think when we that they, you need a 5K prelim at Worlds? You know, I, I kind of don't when there's 22 girls. Um, I know they did this in Daegu and it was similar. And I didn't make the final um, because injured that year, but I think they only eliminated six. And I think you could go to a straight final. I'd prefer a straight final. I never handle prelims great, so if there's votes, I vote for final when it's less than 25 girls, I guess. So. But you got through this one. <laughs> I did. I got through. Check off the whole one. <laughs> All right. Congrats.